So there is somebody, there is a twin in your family, huh, Lance? Yeah. Well, I've got a shirt that's twin, you know. You can't keep them until you hear because I got it in a, one of them, them little places in there. I got my clothes on the knee. Big suitcase full of pictures on it. Oh. Um, us with, uh, with our wives, you know, single pictures like that, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, it's too darn hard to keep track of anything oh, else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because the, the place is too little, you know. To we might have some pictures under the table, do they? Yeah, you have some Kodak pictures. So yeah. Don't take them out, though. Eh? It's just oh. fall, everything falling in the floor. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. You know, all kinds of keep safes and stuff that I don't... You're in Mankato, are you? No, we're in uh, Lakeville, pretty close to St. Paul. Oh, no. It's about 30 minutes from St. Paul, mm -hmm. south. Yeah, kind of a suburb, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know where Northfield is at? Northfield, sure. Right. Lake, I've heard no, Northfield, Sterling. Do you know Burnsville? <laughs> what do you say? Northfield. Clarkville? No. Northfield. Northfield. That's a <laughs> university don't city it. down south of right. St. Paul. Mm -hmm. Right. We're pretty close to I know to that. that. Yeah. We're pretty close to Northfield. Northfield is uh, quite a town for schooling and everything right. like that. Because uh, does it have Carlton College, College or? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Carlton, yeah. And St. Olaf. St. Olaf. And then all the, is it a Lutheran College here? I think no, that's St. Olaf's. St. Olaf's is at, uh, where is St. Olaf's now? It's also that's in Northfield. That's in Northfield, too. Is it in Northfield? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I thought so here. Mm -hmm. And then it's, uh, is Carleton College here, too? Mm-hmm. Yep. My God, I'm sticking up my head working a little bit. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. And you know how old he is? How old are you, Grandpa? Ninety-five in a couple of months. Oh, really? <laughs> wow. Do you feel like ninety-five? Well... <laughs> no. I have a picture of you. Did you see that, or <clears throat> When I was eight years old, I didn't look bad at all. <laughs> <laughs> You always look good to me, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how old and decrepit you look, you always yeah, look so good. <laughs> <laughs> well, not much longer we're going to have two Sterlings in the family. No. Do you know why? No. I think, well, we know you that know, it's going I, to be I a boy. I look small on that picture, but I weighed pretty near 190 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm expecting it in about a month. About well, one month. Oh, Concentrated yeah. a little all over. Isn't that something? Yeah, yes. we're going to name the boy Sterling. We're going to name think? our son you know Sterling. Oh, Did you hear that? I examined for the draft. Oh, no, we know it's going to be a boy. I examined for the draft Sterling Silver. You know, I didn't have one point on me. I examined in the first world war, too. Really? Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah. 20 years old, then. I'm born in 1898, see, mm -hmm. and 1918, the armistice was signed in the late year of the First World War, when Hitler gave up, you know. Mm. But I was a deputy, too, when I, when I was 20 years old, in Chisholm County. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not the first deputy, but I work with Matt Hammerson, if you ever heard of him. Maybe His two have girls been. have been here visiting me, by the way, too. Mm -hmm. Delores, and I didn't know the name of the other one. Delores is married to Fred Wilcox. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They come and visit me right here, you know. Mm -hmm. That's good. And the sheriff visited me here, the present sheriff, uh, Kuldrin. They were wondering what the devil was the matter when he walked, come in on the south end here. And, comes down to my apartment here, and the people living alongside found out he was looking for me. Mostly all these deputies we have now are, have been road, road patrolmen before, you know. 
because I knew him on the west side of me on 65 there too. He still works on well, 61 and then 95, I think he works on 55. He lives in Sarkis Spring there too, Turgen, or Kurgan. Yeah, he was here visiting me. Uh, he's a former patrolman, you know. They were on the highways before, you know. Before, uh, I mean, they had the training there more on the highways as highway patrolmen, you know. Mm. And they, they, they watched they for them. people that were breaking the law and yeah. marched them off. And Catching speeders and uh, of course. <laughs> yeah, the highways, uh, yes, like, uh, you know, we have coast to coast truck, trucks driving. I think they go more on 35W though, I mean, as far as on the east there. Not 65, they went, you know, through Minneapolis that way from, uh, up from, uh, and the roofs of there. You know, all the old trains go through Cambridge now, going down to Hammond, Indiana, and Peoria, you know, you know, for they have smelters, you know. It's completely different thing. But I heard the other day though they're opening up the taconite mines when they crush the rock, you know, and get the iron out of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. up in the iron. There's range. three kinds of iron ore, you know. Magnetite, lemonite, that's where there's uh, a paint what is it called that oak oh, in the paint or huh? The colors that they have painting on the outside of the place. Ochre. Ochre. Yeah. Yellow ochre. Yellow ochre and red ochre and white ochre. Hmm. <laughs> Just think the old train said you should go on the Great Northern the one hundred cars. Mm. All loaded going down. Before they had a smelter in the loop season. <coughs> the uh, Indian steel and mm -hmm. so they mentioned well then you become the they make uh, what do you call it, crescent wrenches and all kinds of tools now in in metal, you know, or steel. Mm -hmm. They found the um Cayuna mines that to make the steel harder than this, you know. To uh, Make better, better steel. That's what they kind of wanted to order. It was better ore there. Yeah. Well, it was a certain ore to make steel stronger. Yes. You know, the American Steel Company in uh, Pittsburgh, I guess it is. Everything went by that years ago. Of course, it was called the American, and they had. The American Bridge Company, and they owned uh, two roads, the Vermilion and I Iron Range, they don't go down to Vermilion Ore, getting the Vermilion Ore, and the three ores was magnetite, hematite, and lemonite, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and all cured in the sea of iron, uh, where there was water before with the oxide, you know. It's all Mm -hmm. uh, oxygen, oxygen matter that's that's in the was they got when they were laying in the or laying in the lake like Misabi or you know mm -hmm. where they mined it with a steam shovel. Mm -hmm. Seventy percent iron in some of that. It's like they're losing that's pretty good. Yeah. Here, yeah. Did I get all the that's cards? Some more. I think we got a couple more here, Grandpa. Oh. I, oh, put them away, I think yes. that they've got maybe our washing or something done. Oh, the, and the dryer or something? Yeah. You know, ah. if you get strewn a little all over, you have sure. no dryer. Right. That's the steam coming yeah. Yeah. from yeah. the dryer. Yeah, it's good to have all that dryer stuff. Dryer and stuff. I've got to be a little careful now, so I don't lose my balance. Yeah, that's right. Whoops. Oh, that's just a need. Beautiful.